Hi guys, welcome back to Burning Cereal. My name's Nico. What I have for you is a recipe that Rusty passed down for me from Oaxaca, Mexico, called the All Hombre. I'm really excited for this recipe, and it's a pretty unique recipe. What you're gonna need for it is a fresh pineapple, cilantro, lime, jalapeno, bell peppers, onion, garlic salt, chili powder, and today we're using a tri-tip and bacon, but you can substitute it for virtually anything that you would in a fajita, and it's gonna come out pretty good. Go ahead and give some combinations a shot. Let me know what you use. We're gonna chop and cook this all up. Hopefully it's as easy as. First, we're gonna start with cutting this pineapple in half. So as you can see, I left the top on. We're gonna use this later for the recipe. So try to keep the pineapple as best as you can, completely intact. Next, we're gonna core it out. First, I'm gonna start by drawing a line at the bottom and the top, because I don't wanna cut too far down and I won't cut too far up. Next, we're gonna cut at an angle down this line and an angle down this line to remove the core. Then we're gonna cut along the edges to remove the meat. We're gonna try to get this out in one solid piece, one on the left side, one on the right side, because we're gonna roast these later. Be sure to leave a good amount on the rind because you're gonna need it as a support for your bowl, otherwise it'll cave. Okay, for the bell peppers, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it in half. And then we're gonna seed and stem it. So for me, I like to just pull it from here. Although it makes a little bit of a mess, it's easier to get out. Then we're gonna julienne cut these. Next, we're gonna julienne cut the onion. And then for our cilantro, what we're gonna do, it's called a roll cut. So what I do is take the bundle and just roll it. That way it's nice and tight, and then you can make small cuts. Now you don't have to mince this. I like just a rough chop so that I have bigger pieces. So if you want this to be a little hotter, you can mince up a jalapeno and throw it in there. If you don't, you can leave this out. Next for the bacon, we're just gonna chop it up. 
For this, it's easier to cut it when it's raw rather than after you've cooked it. Because if you try to cut it after you've cooked it, it's just going to turn into dust. Start by just cutting it down the middle. If you get a bigger side, go ahead and just cut that one down. And then just dice it into cubes. To start with the bacon, we're gonna cook it on a medium temperature. Take out the bacon, leave the grease. Some of this I'm gonna soak up because I don't need that much, but I'm gonna use it for when I cook our vegetables. Next we're gonna cook our veggies. We're gonna season them with our seasonings. Make sure you check the, the description down below for the, the exact measurements. Throw a little cilantro in there and squeeze about a quarter of a lime. So while the veggies are cooking, we're gonna throw this tri-tip on that we got from Costco that's already pre-seasoned. If you don't get one that's pre-seasoned, go ahead and just use the same seasonings that you did on the veggies. So we're gonna throw the pineapple and the pineapple chunks on the grill on a low temperature. We're just trying to get grill marks on these. Make sure you wrap the top of this with aluminum foil so it doesn't catch on fire. So once this is done cooking, I'm gonna take it out, put it into a bowl and set it aside for later. And we'll check on the pineapple and the tri-tip. So this is what we got from the grill. We're gonna slice the meat, or we're gonna plate it up. Let's see how it comes out. So I've sliced the meat. Now I'm gonna cut it in half so I can just get some smaller strips. We're gonna throw this into a bowl and then we'll get the rest of the ingredients. So we're gonna add some bacon into this mixing bowl. We're gonna add the veggies that were cooked in the bacon grease. And the reason for making this whole recipe was our tomatillo salsa. And at this point, if you would like, you can add in cheese, sour cream, your own salsa that you've made, or a pico de gallo. Just mix this up. Okay, so now we're gonna fill the pineapple with our mix. Now at this point, I'm gonna add my jalapenos and I'm gonna add some chopped cilantro. I'm also gonna add some of the roasted fresh pineapple. And if you wanna add cheese to this, 
cheese being your last layer, because now what we're gonna do is return this to the barbecue to warm it up, and then we're gonna give it a go. So here it is, let's try it out. <laughs> That's delicious. And I love pineapple, so this has a really great flavor. Again, if you wanna go with cheese on top of it, make it a little hotter, throw some serrano in there. And you can try this again with chicken, pork, beef. So make a combination, let me know what you do. I'll try it out. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Also, please check the description below for all the measurements to the ingredients. And we'll see you next week. Hi guys, welcome back to Burning Cereal. My name's Nico. Remember last week I told you about this salt with the la, 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 la. Hi guys, welcome back to Burning Cereal. My name's Nico. Hi guys, welcome back to Burning Cereal. My name's Nico. Remember last week I told you about a surprise with the salsa. Hi guys, my name's Nico. Welcome back to Burning Cereal. I'm gonna get this. <laughs> yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to Burning Cereal. My name's Nico. Remember last week when I told you we had a surprise with our salsa? Here it is, El Hombre. Not to be confused with El Hombre, which I do every day that we talk about this. One day I'll figure out something to do with my hands. Yeah. Do they look weird in my pockets?